Hi, and welcome to this week's Fresh Life. I'm 13 on your side health reporter Val Lego, bringing you a fresh take on healthy living. Hey, if you used to get notes at home when you were a kid from your teacher because you were always clowning around, consider it a compliment. A new study found that kids with a great sense of humor are more intelligent. Turkish researchers found that funny kids had a higher retention of general knowledge and verbal reasoning. Unfortunately, though, funny adults aren't necessarily the smartest ones in the room. The study did not find a correlation between adult humor and intelligence. Hey, if scary movies make your heart beat fast, bite your nails and scream, mm, you might be on your way to improving your mental health. There's new research that watching scary movies actually help your anxiety. Here to talk to us about that is Dr. Johnny Parker. Dr. Parker, it seems a little bit like it's counterintuitive, you know, anxiety and scary movies. You'd think they wouldn't go hand in hand. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it is pretty fascinating. And uh, first of all, it's not my research, uh, Valerie. And I understand what the research is trying to say in terms of desensitizing people uh, through scary movies and, 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 uh, and away from anxiety through a scary movie and trying to desensitize the impact that people have as it relates to anxiety. But you have a different take on it. Yeah, I do. I, I have found that, um, that to really turn the page around anxiety, research shows also, and, it's, and, it's, and you see this research, a plethora of this research everywhere, that one out of five Americans wrestle with anxiety. So anxiety happens. Anxiety is here, and, uh, and it happens. And so being aware of that, and then I find, Valerie, that we have to be really intentional about the story we want our lives to tell. And we want to be intentional about how do I deal with anxiety, emotional intelligence, over 90% of our success in life is based on our emotional, emotional intelligence. So what do I do with anxiety um, as it relates to um, my, my emotions and things like gratitude and keeping a gratitude journal helps us turn the page around anxiety. Things like being out in nature and forest in, in the woods and helps us in our, uh, our bodies and exercising and the endorphins helps to alleviate anxiety. And then just having good relationships, uh, having strong relationships. Uh, the uh, World Health Organization constantly lists the, the Nordic countries, uh, Finland and Denmark, as the happiest places to live. And it's because they practice a term called yoga and it's all about being present with people. And the research shows that when we're present with people, we have happier, healthier relationships. And it also reduces and alleviates anxiety. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Parker, for the reminder about uh, our anxiety and how we can reduce it. Not necessarily always by watching scary movies, though. Thanks for stopping by. Well, thank if you. you're feeling a little bloated after binging on Halloween treats, then try sniffing on a lemon. Researchers at the University of Sussex found that your sense of smell can change how you feel about your body. During the test, participants felt better about their body image when they sniffed lemons. However, sniffing vanilla made them feel worse. Researchers hope they can develop smell therapy in the future to help treat people with eating disorders. We're out of time for now. Next week on Fresh Life, it's time for some pumpkin overload. They can help you lose weight and fight cancer at the same time. And of course, bonus, we've got some awesome pumpkin recipes for you. Thanks for joining me. You can catch a new episode of Fresh Life every Sunday at noon right here on 13 On Your Side's YouTube channel. Until then, keep it healthy, keep it fresh.